This past July, Donald Trump accepted the Republican nomination. Humbly and gratefully accept your nomination for the presidency of the United States. It was a moment of vindication for a candidate who had climbed back from a bitter public humiliation. We're talking about the White House Correspondents' Dinner. Tonight, it's an annual event right Donald here. Trump has been... It happened in April 2011, at one of Washington, D.C.'s most glamorous nights. I got to talk to Donald as we were going to our seats. And he was in just such a great mood, and he was very jovial, and people were taking pictures, and it was very exciting that Donald was there. And Trump's invitation to the exclusive gathering came after weeks of attacking President Barack Obama on television. You are not allowed to be a president if you're not born in this country. He may not have been born in this country. But there's something on that person, maybe religion, maybe it says he's a Muslim, I don't know. Maybe he doesn't want that, or he may not have one. But I will tell you this, if he wasn't born in this country, it's one of the great scams of uh, Absolutely. Time. But that night, in front of Washington's journalists, politicians, and power brokers, Obama would hit back. President Obama takes the microphone. All right, everybody, please have a seat. Donald Trump is here tonight and proceeds to fillet Donald publicly. No one is happier, no one is prouder to put this birth certificate matter to rest than the Donald. And that's because he can finally get back to focusing on the issues that matter. Like, did we fake the moon landing? I was sitting 20 feet from him and just the look of discomfort on his face. What really happened in Roswell? And where are Biggie and Tupac? Donald's face was so incredibly serious. It was so incredibly just, he just put on a poker face. I was two tables away from Trump. The conventional way in Washington of absorbing a joke at the White House Correspondents' Dinner is to keep your chin up and at least pretend to have a sense of humor about it, even if you go cry into your pillow that night. Trump was steaming. His face was all locked in. He was not having a good time. All kidding aside, obviously we all know about your credentials and breadth of experience. Um, for example, uh, no, seriously, just recently, in an episode of Celebrity Apprentice, at the steakhouse, the men's cooking team uh, did not impress the judges from Omaha Steaks. And there was a lot of blame to go around, but you, Mr. Trump, recognized that the real problem was a lack of leadership. And so ultimately, you didn't blame Little John or Meatloaf. You fired Gary Busey. And these are the kind of decisions that would keep me up at night. And he's being treated like a pinata by the President of the United States. And I think he felt humiliated. Well handled, sir. Well handled. But it just kept going and going, and he just kept hammering him. And I thought, oh, Barack Obama is starting something that I don't know if he'll be able to finish. Say what you will about uh, Mr. Trump, he certainly would bring some change to the White House. Let's see what we've got up there. Donald dreads humiliation, and he dreads shame. And, and this is why he often attempts to humiliate and shame other people. So in the case of the president ridiculing him, I think this was intolerable for Donald Trump. I think that is the night that he resolves to run for president. I think that he is kind of motivated by it. Maybe I'll just run. Maybe I'll show them all. Every critic, every detractor 
will have to bow down to President Trump. It's everyone who's ever doubted Donald, whoever disagreed, whoever challenged him. It is the ultimate revenge to become the most powerful man in the universe. God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. Donald Trump's fantasy is to be the guy who takes the key to the Oval Office from Barack Obama's hand in 2017. And, and it's personal. This is, this is a burning personal need that he has to redeem himself from being humiliated by the first black president.